So in today's episode, I want to focus on what the difference is between subtasks and checklists inside of TickTick. So as you see here, I've opened up here on my desktop TickTick. And someone had asked me in one of the comments that they were pretty much still confused on what subtasks and checklists and why they would use one over the other. So I thought I would make this quick little video and show you all the reasons why you'd want to use one over the other or why you'd want to use them both instead of a task. As you see here on my morning routine, I have a checklist of items that I want to complete during my morning routine. The morning routine is set up as a time block on my calendar, right? But in there, I want to remind myself that my morning routine, I want to drink one bottle of Huel, take vitamins, play Star Wars, verify transactions in YNAB, but it's just a checklist of things I need to remind myself that I need to do in there, but they're not date specific or time specific. They're just event specific or time block specific for that time period that I'm doing it on that task, right? Just a reminder. But when you do things with subtasks, they are items that you could put dates on that you might want to have independent from the regular task, but also associated with that task. Like if it was a project and you want to have many tasks under that project that have dates on it, maybe you have a project to, you know that you want to remodel a bathroom between um, Tuesday and Friday. And during that time period, that time block that you have set up for that task, you might want to have a subtask in there, go to Lowe's to buy some teal paint for your bathroom, right? But you might even have a checklist in that item that where you're saying, hey, I want to measure the bathroom first, do all this stuff, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say, for instance, I decide that um, I'm going to do a remodel of my bathroom and it's going to happen between Tuesday and Thursday, so I find the time that I want to do it, remodel, bathroom. And I set the time frame that I want to do it on. Maybe I want to do it for, you know, this amount of time each day, right? Maybe I want to set this up with the end date as Saturday, right? Like that. So then I can have it all the way across. But maybe in this thing, I want to remind myself when I look at it each day, right, that I want to measure dimensions of bathroom. Decide what paint to paint bathroom. Maybe I want to, you know... Decide on the type of countertop. Measure tub. Something like that, right? I do a little checklist of things I want to remind myself to do during this process. But then maybe I want to add a subtask in here where I say, okay, go to Lowe's. On Wednesday to purchase teal paint, right? So now that I've done that, if I look here, I got this right here, but I also got it right here. And so I can drag this to wherever I want to do that on whatever time block. But this is still part of the main project, which it shows right here, remodel bathroom. If I click on that, it takes me right back to the actual project that it is from. So that is the cool things that you can do with subtasks and checklists. If you have any more questions concerning that, and hopefully this was informative, please leave me a comment right down below. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. With that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week, and I'll catch you next episode. Take care.